Calendly tutorial, how to use Calendly step by step. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Calendly to schedule your meetings and reminders and more. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is you will simply go to Calendly.com and you will land on this platform right here. Calendly is a schedule meeting platform that allows you to schedule your meetings and appointments very efficiently. You will be able to save a lot of time and get more productive. To get started with Calendly, you can simply click on get started option and we can sign up with our email address or we can sign up with our Google account or Microsoft account. I will simply add my email address right here and sign in to my Calendly. Once you sign in or sign up to your Calendly, this is where you will get. Now, let me show you around. You can see right here on Calendly, we get the home option. This is our main dashboard, our home. Then we have the availability option where we will be able to set availability hours for our work and meetings. Then we have integration option, help and account. In account, of course, we can add billings, calendar connection, admin management. We have share our link and applications and also the logout option. In our home, we get event types. Here, we can create different events and meetings. We also get this quick add button that allows us to create an event, create a one-off meeting or maybe a meeting poll. We get our scheduled events right here where I will be able to check my upcoming, pending, past and date range meetings right here. Then we have the workflow option and routing forms. Before we get into our event and create a new meeting, schedule a new meeting, let's go to availability right here and set our availability hours. What we can do is we can select a new schedule or we can just go with working hours. To select a new schedule, you can simply add a schedule name and then you will be able to create a brand new schedule for yourself. Right now, I have created this one, which is working hours. Now, the first thing is that you will simply select the different events that you have already created to apply this schedule to these events. Then we have the time zone and we can select any kind of time zone from here. After that, we have to set our weekly hours. You can see that I have business days from Monday to Friday and these are the different working hours. We can customize these hours the way we want to. For example, I can select the starting time and then I can select an ending time. I can also copy this time to other days or I can add a new interval for this day. We can also delete the interval completely if we want to with this option. Then we have Tuesday, Wednesday. Let's say that I working hours from 6 a.m to 4 30 p.m on wednesday so we can actually customize the time according to us and we can add different intervals to different days once you're done with the availability now we can simply go back to home let's create a new event simply click on this option right here which says new event type in event type we can create one-on-one -on -one meeting group meeting collective meeting or round robin so i will simply go ahead and create one on one meeting this is where we will be able to add details simply add your event name so my meeting is for my marketing team so i will simply add the name marketing meeting there you go then we have to select a location so on calendly we get different location options such as in person so if this meeting is going to be held personally, then you can actually add a address or a place. Then we have phone call and then we get all of these different online platforms such as Google Meet, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, WebEx, Kodo Meeting, and we can also select a custom location. So for now, I'm going to select Google Meet. Then we can simply add a description right here for our invitees and we can add whatever we want to the details and instructions about the meeting. After that, we get the event link. So this is going to be my event link for the meeting and we can actually customize the link if we want to. Then we have event color just to customize our calendar and we can select any of these different colors. Let's go with blue. Click on next. Now we have to add more details for our meeting. In here, we get the option of date range. So this is for our invitees so that they can also schedule the meeting. We can select calendar days or business days. So I'm going to go with calendar days and I will add seven. Now my invitees or attendees will be able to schedule the meeting and I have scheduled this meeting in seven days. Then we have to select the duration of the meeting. 
I will go with custom. Let's go with ours. And it is going to be a two hours meeting. There you go. Now, again, we have to select the availability. We can use a, the existing schedule that we just created right here in availability. Or we can actually set a custom hour for this meeting right here. So I will with an existing schedule that we just created this one. That is why I want you to show you the availability first. We have selected this one, the existing schedule, and now we're good to go. After that, we also get this option, which is want to add a time before or after the event. This is going to be our reminder. So let's go ahead and add a reminder 15 minutes prior to the meeting. Simply click on next. Now. You can see that this is our meeting, marketing meeting on Google Meet. And then this is going to be a two hours meeting and it is seven days according to calendar days. We can also now check our view live page. Like we can check our meeting that has been scheduled for us and how it will actually look. This is a preview that you can get. Then we have the additional options such as we can add different questions for our different attendees. We can ask for their email and name. Then we can add a question from here, whatever question you want to ask. And then you can select the answer type. If it's a one liner, multiple lines, checkbox or phone number. Then we can also add workflows, notification and cancellation policy, confirmation page or collect payment option. If it's a fundraiser or maybe an event or such type. We can get a preview from this option and you can see that right now it is not active because the meeting is going to be in seven days. But once the time is right, then I will be able to view the live page from here. Now we have created our meeting. Let's go back to our home. So this is where you will see all of your meetings. You can see right here. This is my meeting. And now I can copy link or turn this one on. We also have these settings right here where I can edit it, add an internal node, clone or delete an event. We also get the integration option right here. And with integration, we can integrate any kind of application to our Calendly to customize our Calendly experience. We can integrate Calendly for Edge, Calendly for Firefox. We have Google Calendar, HubSpot, LinkedIn, Microsoft Teams, Salesforce, PayPal, Slack, Wix, WordPress, Zapier, and Zoom. So we can also search for different apps from here and add them to our Calendly. So Calendly is all in one platform to help you schedule your meetings and appointments very easily and professionally. You will be able to get more productive and save a lot of time using Calendly. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know how to use Calendly to schedule your meetings. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.